Hello, it is I, the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the planet. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to showcase to you guys the best deck in the world, Pendulum Tier Limit. Let's go. If you just sit back and think like, yo, Trip, what's the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now? It's fucking Joker or Monkey Board. I'm not even capping. When you guys watch this entire video, because you guys can't leave, you guys will agree with me. When Joker or Monkey Board resolve, I'm going to show you guys just right now how Joker and Monkey Board is the best Vice of Starfrost slash Danger Nessie slash Tier Limit Extender in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. So let's get straight into this video. Before we do, can I get a spam of pen best deck in the comments? And while you're in the comments, you're gonna see the top comment. The top comment is gonna uh, have a provided link of tripgaming.com. Go on tripgaming.com and get your beautiful tripgaming play mats and check out the beautiful money match sleeves while you're there in the other link. Smash the subscribe button while you're there. Let's get straight into the video, baby. Stay tuned to the end of the video. You will not be disappointed. Let's go. You ready for greatness? Are you ready for greatness? Can anyone please remind me? What? What level is Kshatriya Fenrir? Level 7. Huh, interesting. What? Up to what level do you typically pendulum summon? This card is insane in this deck. So, the idea behind this deck is very simple. You think of normal summons that you play in this deck sometimes. Let's say it's like, I don't know. Enchantress could sometimes take up the normal summon. Or Rhino Heart could take up the normal summon. Or Merly. Or Vice's Star Frost. Scarecloud, Right Heart, whatever. Joker or Monkey Board is just quite simply the best of all of them combined. What does Right of Aramis here do? It's the best one by far, minus the Pendulum options. What's it do? Put two monsters on board, right? Joker is like fucking 17 negates by itself. So why don't you guys to pay close attention here. So we're going to use, it's good, the idea here is this. Whether you draw Monkey or Joker, it just searches each other. And the last one is just Odd Eye Synchron. You are not going to scale the Odd Eye Synchron. Odd Eye Synchron is one of the monsters, performed by monsters, that is extremely undervalued. This card is actually busted. It is so much more, so much stronger than people take credit for not only is it level 2 to synergize with a whole bunch of shit. Not only is it a tuner. Not only is it a spellcaster to summon off Selene. Not only is it a performance pal. Not only is it an odd eyes. Not only is it a high scale. But it actually has an, two amazing effects. Um, we're going to be utilizing one of the amazing effects. I'll showcase you guys later uh, when, it, when the time comes. But we're going to keep it in our hand just in case we want it to be our high scale. Our next play here... We're going to go into get Vice of Starfrost. Uh, I'm playing every good version of like extenders in this deck, even Bisted. These are all good version of extenders. Like Bisted is like a DD Crow plus an extender. Vice of Starfrost is like a draw one. Put three mo four monsters on the board. Oh, well, Vice of Starfrost is fucking broken. Vice of Starfrost adds itself. <clears throat> yeah, Vice of Starfrost by itself. By popping one card, adds four monsters to the field. All with different attributes. And a draw one and a pop one. It's absurd. Joker does the exact same thing. So look at this. Before we go into a Joker or Beyond the Pendulum, we're just going to get some value here. We're going to go Right Phobia. We're going to get Right Heart. Uh, we're going to get Lubellion. I just want to put up uh, another monster in defense so I could get the draw here. Doesn't matter what we draw. Uh, and then we're going to do Beyond the Pendulum. So why Beyond the Pendulum? I don't know. Maybe because it's broken. It will search you in Demian, the Mighty Master of Magic. So for those that don't know this combo, okay? When you play a minor Pendulum engine, it could be an Odd Eyes engine that synergizes with Re Revolution Dragons, which is Chaos Emperor Dragons, synergizes very well with Bisted stuff. Or you could just play Good Card Turbo in Joker and Monkey Board, which is a complete scale on its own. And it gives you a free Beyond the Pendulum, because Beyond the Pendulum, for some reason, does, does not say two Pendulums. It's just one Pendulum and a random monster. So it synergizes with these extenders so well, or it makes it just like one combined combo deck in the same way that this small Pendulum engine is similar to like a danger engine. You play dangers for extenders. You play magician souls for extenders. You play business for extenders. You play Joker and Monkey Board for the fact that it gives you an insane amount of darks. It helps you make uh, Savage Dragon for free, which we're gonna get to now. A free Mighty Master, which gets you free to the gate. It's crazy. So here we're gonna pendulum two Joker and Sync Auto Synchron. We're gonna keep the Scarecrow Arrival in our hand. We don't even have space to summon this Fenrir. We're going to keep all these cards in our hand. They all have value in our hand. And we don't want to get absolutely cucked to a Nibiru. So if we get hit with a Nibiru right now. 
We do not give a flying fuck because we have two Bisted cards and we have a Scarecrow Arrival, which means we have Beatrice, we have Scarecrow Lightheart, we have full Tealerman combo, we have everything. So at this scenario, which is an issue that Beyond the Pendulum always had, it was that it was susceptible to Nibiru. But when you play it in conjunction with other engines like this, it doesn't give a fuck about Nibiru. Especially when you watch the best player! Ah, the best player in Yu-Gi-Oh! I got a PhD in this game. I actually sometimes have to stop and like take triple takes thinking, damn, I'm fucking good at this game, bro. Yeah, truly. Like, I'm truly the best player in the game. No cap. All right, so in this scenario now, there's multiple lines of plays we could do. We're going to instantly, we could go Curious, send Eradicator, which is obviously going to end on some cool stuff. We could do a whole bunch of stuff. Why not Curious? We had a Dragon, we had a Spellcaster, we had Sheeran. We didn't have enough spells at the moment to special Money Master out yet. Why not? Let's let's do it. After we send Sheeran, I'm not even going to use Sheeran's effect. So if you pay close attention here, my Sheeran has no Aqua. It's the only Aqua in the grave. I could use it to summon like Mud Dragon or some shit. Or like there's just no value in that for me. I have a much better play than I'm going to do here. But I'm going to protect it with a Borolode Savage Dragon. Do y'all see that play? This Odd Eye Synchron, the effect that I was mentioning, says at any moment, look, once per turn, you can target one card in your Pendulum Zone, special summon it. If it has an effect, negate it immediately, Synchro Summon with just that and this. What level is Monkey Board? Six. Synchro eight. The Chaos Ruler is sadly banned. But in this scenario, Borolode Savage is just better. It's just huge. Because that same Beyond the Pendulum that you, that you just like made... It's just getting sent off. And when we go Selene to special the souls, we already drew a souls, I believe, this turn. But you could even send the Beyond the Pendulum. Now what we're going to do is special Vice of Star Frost and the Circle of Light Cart. Like, we actually have to find ways to create space. We have a Bisset to make Beatrice. So now uh, we always knew we had the Beatrice. So that Beatrice is going to set up for us. We'll set up uh, our whole tier limit combo because the Beatrice will be able to set any tier limit. And then we have... Tear Limit Kakalos, get Merly Melee, like get all the Tear Limits. What we're going to do here instead is look how many interruptions we have. There's just no point. We, we, there's so many lines, it's insane. I, 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 the most likely best play there was I go Griffin beside the Lightheart. And I just end on like six interruptions with Eradicator. But that's not fun. Let's, <laughs> that's not, let's do some more. Why not? You know, let's do some more damage. So we're going to go into Selene over here. Uh... All I needed was the Spellcaster, which we had the Joker. So Joker, Lightheart, and Curious. And uh, we're going to keep the Fenrir, Savage, and Selene up here. This is going to go into Beatrice. Beatrice is going to send Merly. Merly, uh, this is going to send Havness, sorry. Havness and Sheeran will go to Kikalos. Kikalos will go into Merly. We're going to mill eight. And something really cool about Mighty Master is that it pops. So Mighty Master will not be a spell trap negate, but also pop our very own Merly. And then this will be able to bring out our Lulu Lalalos, I still don't know how to pronounce this card. Ending on a final board of a thousand negates. I didn't even opt to go for the Eradicator because I personally don't even like main decking Eradicator. So I want to showcase you guys a line that didn't need the Eradicator. Uh, some noobs are going to be like, oh, Dark Ruler, bro. <laughs> this is game one. No one's playing Dark Ruler in the main deck. And post side, I will go for the Griffin line. This could have very easily gone for the Griffin line as well. You just go for Griffin beside the Lightheart, and then you still go into Selene regardless. That's the beauty of this deck. It's just crazy. And we, this deck's insane. One interruption, two interruption, three, four, five, six, seven interruptions, just like that piece of cake. Now the deck list. And this is the deck list. Three Joker, one Monkey Board. These four are just god cards in this deck. The one Auto Synchro and the one Money Master. Uh, if you were to hard draw no Joker or no Monkey Board, it's okay. Just keep in mind that don't force this deck. Don't force like, I'm I'm playing Pendulum, I'm playing Perform Pal. I must go for Beyond the Pendulum at all times. Don't force the Joker or Monkey Board. If you hard draw it, remember as well that you draw a lot in this deck. Scarecrow Arrival uh, will always draw you a card because of the draw one. You'll always have monsters in defense. Garura will always draw you a card. You're always drawing two cards regardless. So if you don't hard draw the Joker or Monkey Board in the opening five, you have two draws. If you don't open it through Joker or Monkey Board or the two draws, it still doesn't matter. 
it's fine at that point that means that if you're not opening the pendulum cards you're playing basically pure bisted so in that scenario you're totally fine if you were to hard draw odd eye synchron or mighty master there's another line here this line is when you're going for milling you mill the joker or the, or the lunky board and then you make starving venomy dragon with a tier limit as well as one of the pendulums in the graveyard and then because you already have auto synchron or mighty master in your hand you take the venomy dragon and the random monster in the field into beyond the pendulum because for some reason some venom venomy is also a pendulum so that's what synergizes this deck together the fact that this card is a pendulum fusion and it can be made with any tier limit and any pendulum so if any of these were milled you could always just make the, like make this all you need at that point is even like the auto synchron of the mighty master they're not bricks they're actually very nice to open especially mighty master imagine going second now you're hard drawing this card you use it as like a literal interruption with Celine, where you blow up the opponent's entire board as the end goal like when you go when you set up a Celine, it's also why we play three souls because we're really reliant on Celine in this deck also why beyond the pendulum dark like they all make the Celine very easily very easily and when you send these to the grave the summon works a lot as well even when you uh, make, let's say you make Dweller, for example, uh, detach from Joker, you get just Selene again. So Selene will always be viable. Uh, this deck's really, really insane. Uh, so yeah, also keep in mind one important factor is that uh, when you hard draw Mighty Master, do try and go for a Selene X code OTK. This is uh, basic knowledge of Endemia, and a lot of people know Axis Code Talker's 5300 attack, Mighty Master's 2800 attack. Combined, that's 8100 attack, which equals defeat for your opponent. So... When you summon out the Mighty Master and the Selene, keep in mind that it'll be Selene in the Monster Zone, extra Monster Zone, and Mighty Master in the scale. Which means that Selene didn't use his Graveyard Special Summon yet. So Mighty Master will blow up the board, putting counters on the Mighty Master. And then you take the Selene, remove counters from Mighty Master and Selene, especially from the Graveyard. And then Selene and the card you summon, whether it be Souls, Joker, whatever, Auto Synchron, that makes Axis Code. So Mighty Master pops two, Axis Code pops two, Beyond the Pendulum pops two, you pop six. And then Mighty Master and Axis Code going second is 8,100 attack after you pop six. There's only six monster zones. It's an OTK no matter what. So try and save that as the end goal. That's, I really want, like, people don't understand how broken this one single card is. Another cool idea as well, if you want to make Venomy Dragon, is Souls can also send Mighty Master. It doesn't need to send Illusion of Chaos. So if you hard draw out of Synchron or hard draw some of these and you just want, like, let's say your Joker got impermed or something, uh, which is the wrong card to imperm in this deck, by the way. But they don't know what to imperm. You guys probably would have imperm. I probably would have. You don't really know. I know what, what the correct thing is to imperm. I'm just not going to tell you guys. Ja, 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 ja. Beyond the pendulum. So what you do is you go souls, send the mighty master. And then you go kill him in effect. Bring back the mighty master into the deck and make the venomy. And the venomy and something else make beyond the pendulum, which gets you the scale that you're missing. Uh, just a minor tier limit count. You really don't need that much because you are always sending them. So it's just not required at all. Uh, you're playing so many extenders to the point where it doesn't matter. You're basically playing Beatrice Turbo in this deck with a bunch of Bisted cards that are... Because you're not playing rebranded, Lubelion is not actually hitting the field. Lubelion's only purpose is to get Magnema. That's it. Because Magnema getting more Bisteds every turn is so broken in this deck. The idea of this deck is that if you have Lubelia, Magnemite, and, and Druid, you're always getting these, and Vice of Star Frost accessible, accessible every single turn because of Tier Limit Grief, and because of its, like, you're getting it every turn. Per, per Lurino, you're getting access to Vice of Star Frost every turn. So it's all instantly a level 6 from Scareclaw Arrival, after you do shit with Vice of Star Frost. At the very end, all you need is one Bisted, which you're obviously going to get. Monkey Board as well as a level 6. And then you just go Scareclaw Arrival, boom, Beatrice. It's Beatrice Curious Turbo, so... Because you're playing Beatrice Curious Turbo, you don't need a high tier limit count. They're always resolving. And uh, this is a perfect spell count. Fenrir is amazing in this deck. You're only playing four Bisted Hand Traps. If you hard drop Fenrir and Abisted, then you just go for Fenrir and don't Abisted. It's just, this deck's actually insane. Side deck could be whatever you want, depending how you want to build the deck. If you want to build it more Hand Trap related, a cool thing to do, very genius. I'm, I'm PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm telling you guys. You could remove the Fenrir's for three more Bisted, add a rebranded and unbranded Beast engine if you're playing a big Bisted engine, and then your side deck should be all hand traps because in that scenario, you could side out all the all the Pendulums, or you could side out all the Tier Limits, side out one whole engine, side out all the Magician Souls, side out the, 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 the Scare Claws, uh, keep the Pendulums, actually, because they're just the best to keep, and or maybe, maybe even remove the Tier Limits. Like If you suspect your opponent to also be playing Tier Limit, don't you think they're going to go out of their way to go Dweller? Think ahead of the curve. 
Remove all your tier limit cards. Literally, all six. Maybe just keep one Murley. That's it. Because, no, this deck doesn't play Sprite Sprint. Fucking remove all six. Remove all six tier limits. Remove one Pearl Arena. That's seven. Remove, like, one Magician Souls. Eight. This is assuming Fenrir's are hand traps. Remove one. Remove both tier limit griefs. That's ten. And the Eradicate. That's eleven. Side in eleven hand traps. With the already seven hand traps of Bista that you're going to have. Because Fenrir would be a Bista. That's eighteen hand traps in the deck. And the funny thing about it is you still have a, a, like eight scareclaw cards eight scareclaw cards that go like plus five and you have four m perform bug cards and a bunch of business cards so it's like you're still fucking destroying them extra deck this is perfect for this version it does not need Merly for this because sorry it does not need sprint this version does not need sprint despite the fact that you're on the level two uh you don't need sprint in this version because a lot of the times the sprint just sits there in this version you know in this version you don't really need it uh this deck Mud Dragon and Dugaris is pretty sick, but we don't really need it. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This deck's absolutely amazing. Obviously, Pendulum best deck. And if you guys like it, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button for almost 100k subs. Let's get there by the end of the year. If you guys also love Pendulums, check out the beautiful play match down in the description below. Top comment. And check out the sleeves as well. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.